In this video, we cover the concept of an outlier and how to actually define whether a data value in a data set is defined as an outlier or not. Up until now, if, you, if you're doing the AI course, you've probably heard the word outliers before and maybe you had to think about whether a particular data value that which was either very large or very small was an outlier or not. And usually you'd probably just use a sort of a gut feel. Whereas, whereas now uh, in, the, in the AI course, we actually provide a formal definition and can test whether a data value is in fact an outlier or not. So this concept is found in topic four, stats and prop, under the subtopic of descriptive statistics. Now this video kind of follows on from the previous video in this video series, which was all about um, quartiles and interquartile range. And in that video, I used this example here to demonstrate how to find the lower and upper quartile, and then how to find the interquartile range. So just to recap, we have a 10 player basketball squad, high school basketball squad, and their heights here. So the first player was quite short, 160 centimetres. The, the players two through nine were quite similar in heights, going from 177 centimetres up to 185. And then the 10th player was very tall. And I actually used the word in the video, this player is an outlier, without actually testing it. The player does look like he's an outlier at 205 centimetres, but we're not actually sure yet until we test it. So the goal of this video is to test whether this player is in fact an outlier or not. Now, different textbooks use different tests to determine whether a data value is an outlier or not. Uh, a very common test, and the one that is used by the AI course, is this test here. Okay, so is the 205 centimeter player considered an outlier? The test is, we take, for this is for a large data value, so for a large data value, The test is the upper quartile plus 1.5 multiplied by the interquartile range. So if the data value is actually smaller than this test or within this, or within this range here, uh, it is not considered an outlier. If the data value is bigger than this, it will be considered an outlier. So let's go and test it on this data set here. My upper quartile Q3 was 185 plus 1.5 multiplied by, now my interquartile range I found to be eight centimeters. So this is eight. Now that is equal to, let's just check this on the calculator. So we have 185, which was my upper quartile, plus 1.5 multiplied by my interquartile range. So it's 197. So what this means is if a player in this team is above 197 centimetres, which is the case for our 10th player here, this player would be considered an outlier. If they're 197 centimetres or less, they would not be considered an outlier. So that's it for large values. I'm going to give you an introduction to small values and then uh, feel free to go ahead and test whether this 160 centimetre player would be considered an outlier on the shorter end. So the test for a small data value, it's very similar, is equal to the lower quartile this time, subtract 1.5 multiplied by the interquartile range. So that's how to test whether a lower end data value is considered a outlier on the, on the lower end. So have a go of this one here, determined the cutoff point and then determine whether this shorter player is in fact an outlier or not. Okay, that concludes our video on outlier.